Hi everyone, welcome to Disneyland Paris and today you're joining us in the B&B Hotel. That's right, we're here on Disney Brownies, we're going to share with you our trip here. We're only staying here for one night in the B&B for a reason. But in this video we're going to share with you what it's like to stay here in the B&B, often one of the most cheapest um, off-site accommodations that you can book. So what's it like staying here? What's the breakfast like in the morning? What's the room like and around the facilities and things? So we're going to share all of that with you and also do a full room tour as well. Yep. So excited to check in? Yeah. Yeah, very exciting. Let's take you inside. Let's go. Looking at the buses, we've just arrived. And what time is it, Emily? About oh, no, 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 no. These it's are departures. It's this way. Oh, me and Emily have been really thick. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we looked at this and we thought, saying 6.23, 7.23, I'm like, what? Every hour? But it runs that way, guys. Yeah, it's every 20 minutes. Just, just, take a just yeah, take a picture of the time. Tonight, so yeah. um, it just does being thick. Back. Couldn't work it out. Yeah. Usually about every 20 well, minutes. Why is it saying next bus is it? 31? Yeah, it's always that it got delayed. Yeah. So the next bus is in half an hour. So really, you're probably going to be looking to wait anywhere between, what, 15 minutes to half an hour? Yeah. Give or take. But there's a board here in reception with all of the times. Yeah. So definitely worth checking out the times on the board in reception. Where there's a seat. <laughs> I think you tend to do that on our other channel. On the, yeah, on the Brownie Life channel, guys. That's our other channel. Emily's always on the lookout for a seat. But I think you probably do in Disney as well, but in all honesty, you don't get many seats in Disney, do you? A lot of standing up and queuing. Anyway, this is the boutique shop here in the B&B, but it seems to suggest it's open, well, at the moment, 8 till 2. So, yeah, it's not open that many hours. But it wouldn't be a little shop anyway, so we'll probably shop in World of Disney and in the parks and things, but just for your information. little area here just to get ready on a morning or you know on an evening or whatever but you know quite small everyone not like a lot to it really lots of space to be honest for such a basic hotel I can't believe how many how many hangers you get and how much space you get in these areas here I don't tend to sort of pull that many sort of things out of the suitcase when we're just staying for one night they'll just be like a few toiletries a packing cube full of clothes ready for um tomorrow so we don't really need a lot of storage space but obviously some people might be coming here and staying here a week potentially so there is a lot of space if you're gonna sort of pile everything up but just not a lot of draw space I would say that so just like a couple of mirror areas one over here and then one over here I'll show you the view I'm not sure if the window opens I assume it must do oh it does oh it opens fully maybe it's because we're on the ground floor oh. now if you could get that fresh air coming in over the camera it'd be beautiful it's like one of those like nice crisp sort of spring or just like autumn days where you open a window and you just feel the fresh air coming through beautiful so this is what it looks like on the outside so quite a nice view actually we once had a view with a beautiful blossom tree right outside the window it was absolutely stunning it was so beautiful 
This is quite nice being on the ground floor, actually. I think we have been on the ground floor before. Well, we've been all over, all different areas of the B&B. So we're on the ground floor, not far from reception at all, literally sort of around the corner. Um, but there is quite a few different sort of areas, different blocks here within the B&B hotel. It's a, it's a massive building, you know, it's, it is a big hotel for definite. So you could be situated anywhere, ground floor or higher up or whatever. But yeah, a lovely view, really nice. And as I said, just really basic areas but you know comfortable beds well i haven't slept in it this time guys but um all the other times that we've been here it's been a comfortable stay for definite so as i say basic but clean and definitely one of the cheaper places to stay here in disney a partner hotel but obviously it's still going to be a lot lot cheaper than staying in an actual disney hotel and quite a lot cheaper often than a lot of the other um partner hotels as well so definitely really good value for money is the b&b so i'd highly recommend it based on the value for money in terms of the comfort and cleanliness and things such as that i think it's pretty good for that as well as i say it's basic but you're going to get you know a reasonable night's sleep because they're quite comfortable beds clean and tidy it's just a really basic base for your disney trip personally for me i wouldn't want to stay here for like a week or something just because i love the disney magic i love the disney hotels i'm not going to stay here for any length of time but an odd night for me love it i think it's perfect what i would say is first of all when you come to the room you actually get um, a key code to get in so there's a keypad on the door and you just get a key code obviously we've checked in done all the usual checking in things you get the code to come to your room so rather than having an actual key or a card you know to swipe on or, um, you know what you do when you're doing the green lights and the red lights and all the traffic lights and things like that so it's not that it's just literally a keypad pop the code in pop into the room so obviously you've already seen from the footage that there is quite a lot of beds in this room so it's quite a small room however it does hold a lot of beds i think that is the biggest key here in the b&b obviously we're only a small um, family there's only three of us but when you've got quite a few people in your party you know in your family it's definitely a really good plus point in the B&B because it can hold quite a few people in one room and you might be able to get, obviously, well, I imagine you can get into connecting rooms for even bigger families as well. In this room that we've got, we've got a double bed, a single bed that I'm sat on right now, and then we've got bunk beds as well. So really, it would hold five people, wouldn't it? And there's only three of us. So there is a lot of space in terms of bed space, not necessarily space to move around. We have stayed in some of the other rooms here in the B&B and they have been a little bit more spacious, equally as amount. Of, of beds to, to be in the room but there has just been a little bit more room to move around so some of the rooms are likely to be smaller than others i've hidden all the suitcases in the bathroom so you can't see everything so that it's not all cluttered so i can actually go around and do the room tour properly so my poor little suitcases are stuck in the bathroom and then i'm gonna head to the bathroom and pull them all out into the main room so that then i can get into the bathroom the bathroom is quite small everyone i must admit and in case you're wondering well where's my family where's emily where's a dad what have they done well they've actually gone for a walk so around the lake area here is beautiful it's really nice around quite a lot of these sort of partner hotels and you can walk all the way around the lake so they've gone for a nice little walk just while i do this and get a few things unpacked we're only staying the one night as i say so it's not really that much to do this evening we're literally heading to disney village having a bit of a disney evening have a drink in one of the disney hotels hopefully and then tomorrow our disney park day starts so really exciting so yeah so getting back to the room tour when i show you the size of the bathroom i think you'll think i've done really well putting all my suitcases and bags and things and coats and things all in there and um, just to get them out of the way as i say because the room's quite small and i just didn't want it to look cluttered for the video and everything just didn't want it to look messy that's just me guys and um, but yeah i'm going to show you the bathroom now and show you it is small obviously it's basic but it is small right well, let's go yes yeah, so it's a bit teeny everyone i mean it's a bit basic flooring that looks a little bit horrendous not greatest sort of paint work and things like that however the shower looks really good and from from memory i'm sure i'm pretty sure they're all pretty much the same in all of the rooms can't see this one being any different to the others um some i think have been a little bit different in terms of the sizing as in they've had like a bigger bath area and um, but for definite the showers have always been fine you do get sort of toiletry facilities as well because you get obviously shower gel there lots of towels as well one hung up there and then obviously a few up there on the shelf so yeah quite a few towels really um especially for a one night stay not sure how often they would replace them if you stay in them much longer um so hello there's me and um, some soap there to obviously for washing hands and just you know quite an adequate size sink i must admit you know it's quite a big size sink 
for the size of the bathroom, you know, so it's not bad at all. And as I say, the showers before have been absolutely fine here as well. Water temperature and things like that I've not had a problem with. Basic toilet area, as I say, very basic everyone. Just thought I'd obviously just try to be useful and give you an idea of what it's like in the bathroom. I'm not sure on the camera with it being sort of like a wide lens, whether it makes everything look bigger, but it is very small. One thing, not just for the B&B, but any of the Disney partner hotels, that I think just lets it down a little bit is the shuttle bus services. Now, they are good in the sense that at least it's there, at least it's on offer for you to use. However, the buses do get so busy and it is quite confusing if you've never been to Disney before, where do you get the bus from? Where does it stop, etc. It's not massively well posted. Um, there isn't that much information about it. So for example, when you get from the station and you want to come here to the B&B, so for the Disney hotels, it's the furthest stops and there's big signs and everything. But there isn't massive signs for the off-site hotels like this one, like the B&B. It's just a case of trying to work it out yourself, really. There is signs when you get up to the actual stop but not well ahead so it is a little bit confusing but just to put you in the picture and I will try and get to some footage of around that area near the station obviously when you're going into sort of Disney Village and things where you actually get picked up and where you get dropped off so I will try to be helpful and share with you that um, but I'm not going to show you sort of us actually on the buses as such because there's an awful lot of people get so busy on a night guys and um, that's the other thing as well you know if you're staying off site especially here in the B&B or any of those other hotels in that sort of ring of there's quite a few of them there's like explorers and dream castle and all of those hotels you have to use the shuttle buses and when you're using them yeah it is really really busy and it can be quite difficult sometimes um but we just try to gauge it the best we can in terms of timing you know try to always get back to the b and b you know well before you know the last sort of buses are leaving you know after fireworks and things like that we never do that because we stay in the b and b usually before our disney trip so we never really have to do that but if you're in that situation it is it is a pain for definite you will get on a bus it's just the fact that it might be really really rammed so as i say i'm going to get to some footage of around the sort of areas where you get dropped off and picked up So this is where the bus actually drops off. So you've got the station over to the right there and you've got World of Disney ahead, Disney Village. And it's this area here. Right, so a little bit confusing guys. Just got dropped off there. But earlier on in the day, we saw it drop off over at that side. I actually just realized this is how confusing it is. But we actually got picked up from here. So we got picked up and dropped off in the same place, right in the middle. So the Disney hotels is the stretch behind and then some other um, sort of further out places I think are more over here to the right so it's actually in the middle section you get dropped off and picked up I think that's what's happened for us anyway guys so the sign on the bus is the Navette Parks Disney just there across the bottom of the bus and it does actually show all of the hotels I can't really go too close guys because there's lots of people on the bus but um, at the top there there's all the hotels listed and then this is the actual bus stand Again, I'm not going to go through all the dis different sort of times and different things, but all of the um, off-site hotels are all listed on here. So in theory, it should be this middle section here where it drops off and picks up. So buses can be a little bit of a problem, but as I say, don't let that put you off because it is cheap and cheerful. It is basic, but it's definitely worth staying here for the price. It's a really good value hotel. So we had a lovely sleep, didn't we, Anne? Yeah, it was really fun comfortable sleep. And we had fun on the top of the bunk bed, bless her. So we've booked a taxi this morning, basically for half past seven, very early everyone, because we're going to start our Disney package at the Santa Fe. Top tip, if you're staying off site the night before your Disney package, it's a really good thing to do, because basically you can book a taxi, get to your hotel really quick, get to check in, well not fully check in because you can't get your room in the Disney hotel, but you can get your park passes and then you can head straight into the parks. So that's exactly what we're doing. So that's definitely a really big top tip. So we stayed here the night before in the B&B &B, and we're gonna go to Santa Fe this morning by taxi because the reason why you might think, why not just get the buses everyone? Well, by the time you just get the first bus here, you're literally not gonna make the extra magic time. And everybody in the Mara dog is everyone, on the bus yeah. and you've got two massive cases. Well, you will make the extra magic time, but obviously it's important you get on that first bus 
us and obviously we want to be able to check in to get our park passes and everything from Santa Fe so that's what we're doing this morning so that's definitely a top tip but because we have to get a taxi at half past seven we need to go for breakfast when it opens at seven which is in about two minutes so we're literally in a rush now leaving the room we've had a comfortable stay it's been just as good as usual really quiet Really well, comfortable. We're, Loved it. Well, yeah. We're good now. Let's go yeah. Let's so let's go. Work. I'll take you around a bit of breakfast. It won't be a lot, guys, because obviously I'm in a bit of a rush and there's not an awful lot to see. Is no, there? There's a few bits and pieces. Really I'll take really you around the corridors, take you around a bit of breakfast, and then we're going to jump in our taxi and head to Santa Fe and let's head to go. the Disney Facts. Let's go. got some cheese and ham and bread and butter and then I've gone for pan of chocolate and croissant and a coffee got about 10 I've minutes got probably this bottle, but it says del sim de demi sal uh probably Whereas like you semi said dukes so I just got this one because it says sal on it so it's some sort of I think salt. it'll be salt it might be non-salt but anyway right we're gonna enjoy our breakfast for but 10 demi minutes suggests, hurry like, up. in between I won't worry about it, Emily. Let's just crack on. We've got 10 minutes. We just need to hurry up. <laughs> breakfast all done we're gonna head to our taxi now as i say to start our disney package um at santa fe and head to the disneyland park today so we've got lots more videos here on the channel um for disney brownies lots lots more here from disneyland paris and lots more already on our channel already so thank you so much for watching definitely subscribe if you like our content give this video a like thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one everyone bye